My name is Christina. Uh, I'm a physician, I'm a nephrologist, and um, I always work it, work it a lot. And um, I'm also a professor at the university, and, um, and I have two children, uh, Alex, which is uh, 26, and Lisa, which is 33. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, it was very frequent that people said, how are you going to manage to be a doctor, a physician, and have children? Uh, put you in lots of culpability and, uh, and saying that you should choose between being a mother or being a professional. Um, I always thought that uh, it going to be not easy, but it was feasible. I will not be the best mother of the world or the best physician of the world, but I could, could do both and I wanted to do both. Oh, I think that people could say things like, uh, why don't you work just half time? And you know, to be a doctor, a half time, it doesn't, it doesn't work at all. Uh, so it was almost like saying, why don't you stop being a doctor just to be a good mother? And uh, also people said, well, you left your, uh, your kids in, the, in a kindergarten very early, or you uh, left your uh, son with a babysitter very early. And I said, well, I, I kept growing, being a mother, uh, even if I asked for help to take care of them. And I think it was good for them to know other people, to, to go to the kindergarten, to, uh, to, to play with other children. And uh, it was good for me to kept as a doctor. And I think this today for them, it's good that I am a physician and they are proud of this. Well, people don't say this directly. Maybe they think about it. But let me tell you something. Everybody, everything that goes wrong with your kids, either drugs or relationship problems or money problems or health problems, everything you, you, you always think that maybe you were responsible for that. There is a kind of um, culpability in saying that, well, what did I did wrong? And, uh, but with time you learn that uh, the kids are what they are. And uh, no matter, obviously what you do is important. Your examples are important. But you are not responsible for everything they do or everything they choose. They have their own lives, their own heads, their own uh, choices. You gave them uh, examples, you gave them um, uh, a, a, a nice life, the best you can give, but they're gonna do with their lives what they want to do, because this is their lives. I think it's a major role because, you know, uh, what society thinks is not this important in your day-to-day -day life, but what your partner thinks and does, it, it, it's a major stuff. Because uh, you, you need his support, you need he, he's there to take care of the children too. You need that uh, he uh, understands the, your professional roles and you need him to to be, um, to be uh, a, a really a partner in uh, dividing uh, work at home, work with the kids, and understand that you have your own career, career and uh, you have to follow up your dreams, your needs, and, uh, and his too. So we both have to support each other and to, 
divide work and uh, and not being uh, blaming one each other for things that do do not go right.